G'day, Steve here, Woodworking Masterclass. And just a real quick one. I've got a job that's come in that's requiring me to do a lot of uh, veneering and laying it down with a hammer. So this is the hammer that I normally use for veneering and it's fine for boxes and putting in inlay work and bits of marquetry, but the big sheet I've got to do, I'm gonna need a bigger hammer. So I thought, see, I've got to make one, I might as well film it. So this is how easy or how difficult really easy, to make a veneer hammer. What I've done, I've gone out of my little stash out the back, just a couple of bits I'd like to make out of this piece here, which I think, I'm not sure, it's either bow yak or mile. I'll find out when I dress it. I've got a little bit of brass off-cut rod, and around here somewhere, I've got a bit of a broom handle. That's all I'm gonna need, and that's all I'm gonna use. So, first things first, I'll just cut this to size and see what it's like, and then we'll go from there. Now I've got a nice chunk out of that bit. Just clean this up with uh, a plane. I'll pop it in the tail vise. That side's nice and flat, so I'll knock the curve out of this side. And that will do. Both sides nicely planed. Go to the saw now. I want to put a trench in there, the thickness of this brass. And there I have, just put the saw right down the middle and a quarter inch down, which is half the depth of this. So this now should slot in there quite nicely, which it does. And cut it off. There you go, that's starting to look half reasonable. Just knock a chamfer off of both of these sides. Mix up a bit of glue, put the glue in, nice and deep if we can. Get a makeshift scraper out of the bin, take the excess glue off, get the brass. Home all the way. And I'm going to leave that sit until it dries and then we'll drill a hole in it, put a cantilever in it with a wedge and we're finished. All right, now this is dry and what I'm going to do is just drill a one inch hole so I can put a handle in it. Back on a tick. And there we have a one inch hole, and at the same time, I cut a length of dowel to fit in there. It was a little bit tight to start with, so I sound, sanded it smooth with a bit of a taper on it. And as you can tell there, I've sawn a cut in it. So all I've got to do now is clean all this glue off and we can put it together. These ends here, just gonna clean them up with a file. And this sharp angle here, just knock that off. You really don't want it sharp because that can dig into your veneer. Same with the other end. So once the two ends are flushed off and over these edges here, just round them over a little bit. Not much, it's already got a bit of a arras on it, but just a little bit. Just making sure there's no sharp edges on there. That can catch. And then dress this part here. And you can see that, so it's all nice and smooth. And then we'll know we're getting 100% contact 
when we're actually using it on a job. If you can see that, that's all nice and bright all the way down, which means it's now nice and flat. It's not sharp on the edges and it's ready to go. Get the handle. Um, you can if you want, you can glue it or I'm just gonna bash it in and then where I've cut that slot there, I've got a very thin wedge that I just cut and it goes in there and I ran that home. That's it, let's see, here we go. When you're doing this and you're using a wedge, have the wedge running up and down, that way it'll exert pressure sideways. Whereas if you have it running from side to side like that and you put it in, you put pressure along the grain and you can actually split the tool. Let's actually come through the other side a little bit, which is what I want. Pop it in the vise. Get the wedge, put it in there, and, and then just cut that off flush. And there you have it. One very easy to make veneer hammer. This is Steve pulling the shed door down and saying remember to keep it sharp, but more importantly, keep it safe, enjoy your woodwork, and I look forward to having you in the workshop and at the bench very, very soon. Bye for now.